right. Now, you think we ought to remove the roads? Yes. Okay. Now, on to wastewater. You've got your sewage waste bottle. Shake it up. You've already added water to it. Let's add some to the city building. Pour it through the hole on the top of city building B. Look at that. Go and down. You'll see it run down, That's making right. its way to the wastewater treatment plant. Also, waste is made, wastewater in the home. So, squirt it through the hole there. You can see it also making its way. And the factory. And you put it in the, the large hole in the factory, right? That's right. Okay. The small hole is for a later demonstration. Now, when you, squirt, when you squirt waste from the sewage bottle, you need to use about three quarters of it. Maybe, yeah, about three quarters yeah. of it to make sure you've got enough. You've got to save some for other demonstrations. Yeah. That's good. All right, so then you lift the wastewater treatment plant, and you can see how the screen, you can lift the screen, and you can see how it's caught some of the large particles. That's the first step. And then you can take a cotton swab, and you can lift up some of your sludge. Ooh, Look at that. Sludge. Now, some of the sludge, you can point to the incinerator, and on some wastewater treatment plants, they may incinerate it right away, or they may send it to a landfill, or they may send it to a separate facility for biosolids. Right. Biosolids is what we're going to talk about later okay. in another demonstration. But here what we want to do is, have you got the syringe? Yep. Great. Let's uh, add some air, again, to the secondary clarifier, and you see the bubbles. And certain bacteria love oxygen. Yeah. And so we want the bacteria to grow, so they're, these bacteria then are going to eat the waste. They're organic matter. Now, let's see here. We can get a little bit of sludge in the secondary clarifier. All these are labeled. And you can put it back in to the aeration basin. And um, a lot of times they'll return it from the secondary clarifier and treat it again. Right. And the bugs eat some more. All right? Then you're going to remove, you see, you have to make sure that there's enough waste water in the model to have a flow, and it's slowly flowing. If you had a little bit more from your first demonstration, it would go through faster. Aaron's going to add a little bit more, not all of it though, to this. Now you can see, and you can stir it a little bit if you, if you need to help it on a little bit for the process, and it goes into the basin number four, the chlorine basin, and we're going to add some chlorine. Chlorine is used to kill a lot of um, disease-causing germs. We're going to add some chlorine to this, and we're going to, I was supposed to lift and replace this, and I didn't. I'm not oh. a big goof, but in the guide we say lift and replace, or we just say lift. Here you lift and replace it and then you fill it with chlorine. All right, and then we're going to lift, and then we're going to replace it here. All right, all of it doesn't have to come through. And it moves on from the chlorine to the deep chlorination basin, where we add agents that remove a lot of the chlorine from it. And then it's going to release into the water. And you'll see a tinge of it in the water, but it's nothing like it was before it went through this treatment process. And that's why it's important to have it come into a river and not a lake, because the, the current has to be there, so yeah, it lessens right. the amount. That's called effluent. Now, in the factory area, this is a good time to go back with your sewage treatment. Okay. Your sewage. And um, let's talk about the factory. Okay. And we're going to squirt some more sewage down in the factory. And what happens in factories, sometimes they'll go and they'll try to treat their waste pre-treat their waste with a wetland area. Right. And if you press there, try to guide it a little bit, you'll see how, and this is a construction wetland. A lot of it's being absorbed, but and the excess before. is running off to That's the wastewater right. treatment plant. That's right. Now in the rural area, you go over to the rural area, and the rural area produces waste as well, and you remove your That's belt right, strip. They have an individual septic system, which is like a tiny wastewater treatment plant. Uh -huh. So it's going out into the septic field, 
where it's being absorbed. And again, there's bacteria in there and stuff that cleans it. All right, now we could remove some of it from the septic, you think? Yeah, we're showing how you need to have your septic tank pumped regularly. Mm -hmm. Great. And again, the guide goes on to cover all this in more detail. Right. And so that is the gist of the wastewater treatment demonstration. Yes. Now, before we go on to the biosolids demonstration, we are going to do the demonstration of the difference between the storm pipe and the wastewater pipe. Right. Is that a good idea? Yes. All right. So let's show a little bit of, let's put our road back on. It's a long one. And here's our storm drain. And basically we can show either people illegally dumping something down the storm drain. All right, so you can do that. And if you really want to, you can, you can put some stuff on the roads and make it rain and show it go down. Right. Um, go ahead and put some more in there, Erin, so we get it okay. flowing. Yeah. Okay, and you'll be able to see it down here in the lake area come through and how a lot of storm runoff, oh, you can you put a lot in there. <laughs> a lot of storm runoff can pollute water directly. It doesn't go yes. through wastewater treatment. And you can exactly remove the road to show the difference between the pipes. Right. The next step is, let's talk about a combined sewer. And go ahead and do some more storm, storm water here. And you can see now how it's being diverted to the wastewater treatment plant. Now there's a whole section on, a whole page actually on combined sewer, sewers and how people are, are, are making them so they're intentionally combined at certain times, not during heavy storms. Right. So some, a lot of the regular storm water will be treated before it's released. But please remember that most storm drains do discharge directly into the water body like we showed here. That's right. That's correct. 